This is William Billy Carroll Jr., a fair-haired youngster with a striking appearance adorned by freckles. He had an intriguing quirk of occasionally indulging on a stick of butter, leading a friend from his childhood to remark, he'd devour butter all over darn Chicago. Behind Carol's youthful appearance, was a tumultuous existence. He was a rebellious young man, spending most of his time roaming the streets of Chicago, Illinois. Carol frequented the YMCA, where he would occasionally work out with Randy Reffitt and Samuel Stapleton, who all attended the same high school. Like Reffitt and Stapleton, Carol's family was originally from the Appalachian region, specifically eastern Tennessee. Raised amidst poverty and the harsh realities of the streets, Carol was well acquainted with the struggles of his environment. At the age of 16, Carol had gained notoriety as a troublemaker in the uptown neighborhood. Growing up amidst the hardships of street life, trouble seemed to follow him relentlessly. His parents recalled a string of incidents dating back to his early years. At only nine years old, he was sent to a juvenile facility for stealing a woman's purse, and at eleven, he was caught in possession of a firearm. At the time of his disappearance, he was a sex worker, arranged hookups for teenagers and adults, and sold drugs to make money. When news of his untimely demise reached his grieving family, over two years after his disappearance, William Huey Carroll, his father, described his son as a handsome, athletic troublemaker who possessed a penchant for money. On the night of his disappearance, June 13, 1976, Carroll assured his father he would return, in about an hour, before departing with a group of boys in a car. Violet Carroll, after her son disappeared, had multiple interactions with the police. Reports mentioned that Carroll had left home due to his parents' heavy drinking. In one report, his mother claimed that Carroll had visited her after his initial disappearance, however, it was unclear if the officer misunderstood or if her memory was impaired due to her heavy drinking. Unfortunately, because his mother stated that he had recently made contact and was able to take care of himself, the case was closed. Eventually, dental records confirmed Carol's identity among the bodies found at Summerdale Avenue. Carol's friends were not entirely surprised by the news, knowing about his involvement with John Wayne Gacy and his source of money. The details surrounding Carol's fate remain hazy, leaving uncertainty as to whether he was forcibly taken by Gacy or willingly accompanied him. What is clear, though, is that within hours of his encounter, Carol fell victim to Gacy, enduring torture, and ultimately murder. The story of William Billy Carroll Jr. serves as a grim reminder of the perils faced by vulnerable individuals in marginalized communities. His troubled past, entangled with street life, the allure of quick money, and the dangers lurking in the shadows, ultimately led to a tragic end. Please like and subscribe to our channel as we continue to go through each of John Wayne Gacy's victims in the upcoming videos.